So if you're in a position of leadership, or even if you're not, but you want to become more reliable with yourself, you want to be able to make decisions more quickly, look at how you make decisions. Analyze the process. Because if you're trying to lead a group of people and you want to work on your decision-making skills, there's only one way to do it. And that's to actually put yourself in these positions of making tough decisions. The first way to do that is just with a simple question, go or no go. So whether I'm looking at a patient who I think needs an operation, whether I am looking at a dicey landing when I'm flying a plane and it's too gusty, decision is simple, go or no go. And the key lesson that I've learned is no matter how dramatic things seem and how much is happening at once and whether you are several thousand feet in the air or you have a patient who's actively deteriorating in front of you, you have more time than you think. And you at least have that split second to take a deep breath, take a step back and decide go or no go. You're not always going to have the opportunity to put yourself straight into a hard scenario and make decisions. Maybe you're not in charge that day. Maybe the situation simply doesn't come up. You can still prepare yourselves. What if situation X happens? What if I lose an engine while flying a plane? What if I'm on call for obstetrics and a pregnant lady comes in, she's preterm, she's in active labor, and I suspect she has appendicitis? might not actually happen, but I can still go through the thought process and figure out an action plan. So if and when that situation comes, I'm prepared and I'm setting myself up for decision making. And the reason it works isn't some sort of um, uh, new age concept, but it's science. Because when you put yourself through mental rehearsal uh, and through visualization, you're engaging your supplementary motor cortex and you're engaging your brain in engaging the muscles that would act if something's actively happening. And you're engaging, engaging your, your the parts of your brain that deal with executive functioning, making higher level decisions. And so you're actively priming your brain and training, training your brain to make these associations so that you are prepared when the worst does happen.